In this video we're going to create a custom single product page inside Gutenberg using the Product X plugin. Hi, my name is Stratos and I'm constantly producing video tutorials about WordPress. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. If you go to the roadmap of the Product X and I will put the link for this page in the description below, you will see that inside the roadmap it says now that we have the single page builder and we can use that single page builder to create our own custom single product page inside Gutenberg. This will give us a more unique style and also you can change a little bit the website so it's not every single website that you build identical. So let's go straight ahead to the website that we're going to play with and this is a Bloxy theme and this is how the single product page is looking. So we have at the left the image, we have the breadcrumbs on top, we have here the title, price, button, the short description, the meta fields and after that we have the description. Here underneath we have the related products. So we're going to create something like that but we're going to change a little bit the styling so we have something more unique. The free version of the product X also lets you create one template so you can create your own custom single product page. The elements are there and you can use them but there are some features that are locked so you cannot style everything but you can create your own custom page. If you buy of course the pro version you can create more than one custom templates. Let's go to the product X and the first thing that you're go going to do is go into the add-ons. Here in the add-ons you should enable the builder so once you do that you will have here something that says here builder. Once you go there you will see now an add new and let's press that. And now it says here that we can select the template type and we can create a single product, a product archive and the shop page. So we're going to select here single product and we can give it a name. Let's go for single product. And here you can select all the products. So this template will apply to all the products. But if you want, you can select a specific product or you can select the products inside a category or the products that have a selected tag. So let's go create a template and then we're going to click save and edit. After that it will open in the Gutenberg and here we can start building. Now I have here how it looks in the cadence and this is the default layout so I'm going to copy just to keep the default layout and let's move the tab in the beginning. Okay here and let's start creating. So first thing first we're going to add a row. Inside that row I'm going to select this one and here I'm going to add the breadcrumbs. So let's click here and let's first see all the elements that we have. So let's go browse all and let's go here and here we have the single product. Here we have the archive title, product review, product tab, additional info, add to cart, image, breadcrumbs, meta, rating, price, stock, description, short description and product title. So let's go for the product title first. No, let's go with the breadcrumbs. Here we have the breadcrumbs. Okay, and now I can go and put that in the middle if I want. And this is from here. Alignment in the middle. And as you can see here, you can select the preview and you can select whatever product you want for that to be previewed to style. Now keep in mind that you have to select the product every time you add an element and I would like that to be for the whole template and not for every element separated. Also product X doesn't have at all global settings so we cannot add some global colors and global fonts and style them uh, at the same time so we don't have either of those features. So after that let's remove a little bit of padding inside here and let's go for zero and then I'm going to add another row layout and I'm going to give it uh, this style here which is 33.37 and I'm going to uh, change that to be something like 4060. Okay inside here I'm going to add the product image and once I click it I can now select the preview and I can select to see the t-shirt with logo perhaps. And as you can see this image changed. Of course this is Gutenberg so not everything are so slick. You will see that this image is not looking too great but if you publish it and go to the front end and see it, it will look okay. It will not have any problems. So as you can see it's right here and you can see it right here. Now let's go back 
here and I'm going to add some elements. So we're going to start with the title, product title. After that, I'm going to add the separator. So let's go for a divider. Okay, after that, I'm going for the price. Then the short description. Then another divider. And then the add to cart. Okay, so let's go and style those uh, elements. So I'm going for the product title. Let's change that to t-shirt with logo. And now I can select the H2. I can change the alignment if I want. And also I can change uh, here the typography and the color. After that, if you want to put a little bit of padding or margin, and I think that you should put because all those elements are squeezed, even though in the back end are showing correctly. Let's close that and let's refresh here. So as you can see, this is how it looks. Okay, the title doesn't need any margin, but after the price, we need to put a little bit of margin inside there. So here we have the separator, which is 40 pixels. Let's go for 20. And let's also enable the divider. I'm going to put the alignment in the left. I'm going to put that to be uh, the width of 20. And for the color, I'm going to select the black. Something like that. Okay, after that we have the price and let's select here the t-shirt with logo. And again, you can change the alignment. If you want to show the label, if you want to show the badge, and of course we have also typography and color. Let's change here in the advanced general and let's put a little bit of margin. Something like that. After that we have the short description. I'm not going to change anything here but you can select here and see how it looks. Okay and then we have another divider and I'm going to put 20 again. No maybe 40. I'm going to leave it as 40 and we're going to see later on how it looks. Enable the divider and let's go for the left alignment again. Black and let's go for 20%. Okay, let's update that and see how it looks in the front end. Okay, and I think I need to put a little bit of margin here just to separate those and let's go and do that. I'm going to remove everything from here. The height, I'm going to put here zero. And after that, I'm going into the price and I'm going to put a little bit of margin on top. Okay, let's update that and see how it looks in the front end. Okay, and I have created something like that. Now, underneath that, I'm going to add the meta. And also I know that I need to click into the button, stay on page, and let's go and give and give it a little bit of margin. Okay. And now into the meta, as you will see here, let's select first the product, t-shirt with logo. I can select if I want to hide the tag, the category or the SKU, and I can also change the label. So I'm going to put capital S, capital C for the category, capital T for the tag. Let's update that. And underneath that, I'm going to add another row. And here we're going to put the description. Now, there is a bug in this version. And let's first check the, the bug. So if we go and add the product tab, and this is what we should put here. So we have the description, we have the additional information and we have the reviews. If we do that and update, now if I go into the front end and refresh the page, I will lose everything. So no product is viewed here. I have to go here, I have to remove this and I cannot add, of course, the product tabs. I can only add the description. Of course, this is a bug 
and I'm sure that they're going to fix it, but they haven't at this moment. So let's add here the description of the product. Okay, I'm going to remove the padding. I'm going to update and as always we have here some settings so you can select here which product you want to show and then you have the alignment we have the description heading text color typography space and everything else is here let's update that again and let's go and refresh the page in the front end and this is how it looks also i should add a little bit of padding inside that for the bottom so let's go and add inside the row a little bit of padding. And now, as you can see, within five minutes, I have created something more unique. Also, you can create something more unique for the mobile, so you can hide elements that you don't want to be seen, or you can change entirely how it looks in the mobile version. That was how you can create something like that. Tell me in the comments if you like it, if you would use something like that. I would love to hear your opinion about the product X. I think it's a great plugin. I think it's going okay. It's not very fast in the update delivery and I don't know what they are doing and how hard they are working. I'm sure they are doing the best, but I don't think they are very fast in the updates that are bringing to us. Of course, at this moment, I don't know any other plugin that can work inside Gutenberg and change the layout of the single product page. So in order to do that uh, in a Gutenberg website, you had to add another page builder in order to create something more unique. So with this plugin, you can create something directly into the Gutenberg, which is great, of course, because you will not slow down your website at all. So that was the video, guys. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Tell me in the comment below if you have any question and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.